American cities are as dangerous as war-torn countries, and that's not an exaggeration. This weekend, a former Afghan interpreter called Ahmad Yar was shot and killed in Washington, D.C. Yar had served alongside U.S. Special Forces in his home country. He made it out unscathed and then immigrated to the United States. It turns out working as a Lyft driver in our nation's capital can be more dangerous than serving in Kabul. Does D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser think this means she should beef up law and order? No, of course not. We recognize that it will take all of us, not just the police, not just the D.C. government, but community as well, uh, to be a part of those solutions. Paul Morrow is a attorney and retired NYPD inspector, and he joins us now. Paul, you know, I can't help but think about this story. It's incredibly sad no. that a man who devoted so much to the United States of America loses his life to crime in the capital of the United States of America. What does that say about us? I mean, it's just terrible. You know, the sort of symbolism of this is unescapable, right? Here's a guy who helps Americans in a really tough part of the world. He didn't cut and run when he could have, and it just compounds the tragedy of that shambolic pullout, right? He ends up ultimately getting here, and he settles in Philadelphia, where he gets robbed at gunpoint, because that's another city that won't enforce any of our statutes and is committing a slow suicide. Picks his family up. He moves them to our nation's capital, right, for the safety of his family. He's working hard around the clock to just put food on the table, better life for his kids, the American dream, and, of course, what happens. In a city that has rampant crime, carjackings are off the hook. He's murdered for his car, which they don't even take. The whole thing is just a symbol, a perfect metaphor of what we're seeing in our inner cities and our progressive run cities today. It's a metaphor as well because it is so common, Paul. It is children, it is teenagers, it is gangs, and yeah. that is exactly, while they're still looking for the suspects, um, that is exactly who it is reported was involved in this killing. That's right. And, you know, we should mention that Metro PD has put out a $25,000 reward for information relating to the arrest of these four. And let me just say something. They're going to get them. OK, there's going to be tremendous resources devoted to this. They have some video that's been released. They probably have more. They're talking to their informants. There's some stuff they're going to be doing in the digital world. I have no doubt that they're going to get at least one of these guys. You get one, you get them all. So I would urge anybody who knows anything to come forward. But, you know, it goes to the idea that what happens when you get them? We're up 49 percent in Washington in robberies, which is the real true bellwether of street safety. The problem is it's mostly juveniles and it's gun crime. OK, and all we hear from the progressive Dems is institutionally racist criminal justice system, guns, guns, guns. Right. We heard that the other day after the Fourth of July weekend from both the, both the president and the vice president. Three percent of the gun murders in this country are long guns. By definition, all the rest are handguns. Those are going to be urban handguns. The laws are on the books. We just don't enforce them. And when it comes to juveniles, it's even more of a hands-off. The problem is you can't remove the stick and just leave the carrot. Nobody is saying that you can't reform the criminal justice system, that we can't constantly work to make it more equitable, more fair, et cetera. But when you completely remove the stick and only leave the carrot, Cities are going to get out of control. We're seeing it across the country. You told me something during the commercial break that I found fascinating, that all these cities brag about gun seizures. Yeah, yeah, they keep the gun that they seize, but they let the criminal back out on the street. What a symbolic story about how the progressive left is approaching crime fighting today. Paul, great to talk to you. Great to be here. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.